Hello, everybody. And welcome to... Uh, Fallout New... Uh, a modern Fallout New Vegas run. The good, the bad, and the rat roaches. We're going to be attempting to do a cowboy-style playthrough. We're using only weapons that would be qualified as a cowboy weapon. And also, we're going to try it in survival... Which is why I added a death counter. I don't know how faithful I'll be to it. I'll try to be faithful to it. To see how bad we get. Anyway, let us begin. Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully this doesn't become an issue, having Blue Moon here, but I don't think it should be that long. Blue Moon. I don't know yet if I should try to do a stupid accent when talking to people, or not. You know, something like what a cowboy might have. Or what I figure a cowboy might have. If you want, you can find a mod list in the description, or you can do exclamation point F O N B mods for a mod list. The earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world. And a great wall spanning the Colorado River. It's amazing how that survived. The NCR mobilized its army and I guess maybe the nukes didn't hit Rocky as hard in this area. And restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House his army of rehabilitated tribal and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worst. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Oh, our hands are all tied up. Waking up over here. Time to cash out. We can get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? No so tired here though, it's kinda of bothers me. Oh well. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. The guy on the right looked at his face. 
He's like, oh, what's going on? That chamber looks empty. <laughs> Let's see if this last minute mod I found works here. Should be black screened for a little bit. Oh, God damn it. You discovered a worn dust letter on your feet. You added a note from your <laughs> to your pit boy. God, this is terrible. People as you see a coded message claims to be fresh on mercenaries and equipment. The senator is offering a position on what claims to be the most elite mercenary team in the NCR promises. Hi, yeah, easy. Let's fight your way through. Fifteen plus. It's funny what a couple bullets to the brain can do to one's memory. You think you'd realize it, nearly forgot about the things you stashed behind the Mojave Express and Prim. I should go check to see if they're still there. But the Mojave Waitley Wasteland now purrs most of its dangerous elements. Rumors about around abound of a mysterious newcomer seeing the now the now famous courier. How are we now famous? What? They all share a common message delivered by the traveler. Tell courier to go where it all began. Recalling your past deeds, the bounty hunter, you soon realize it can only mean one place, Randall and Associates. Uh, well, I don't know why this is here, but whatever. From the desk of the Easter Bunny, since you've been halfway decent this year, I instead of laying eggs, I got drunk off atomic cocktails and crapped ten special grenades around the desert. It's totally on purpose. Here's what you need to know. These Easter frags are about as strong as many nukes, so don't play with them inside. All are in locations on you can find you can map. I've got no thumbs, so no closed boxes. Find all ten to boost your explosive skills. That tickly feeling when you slept was me leaving this list of hints in your pocket. Okay. Da, 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 da. Any more? Uh, okay. I don't know if putting that in the bottom of my load order would have prevented all those or not. It prevented the DLC ones, which is fine. Howdy, partner. Sure is one fine evening, ain't it? Give me your hand, partner. Let's get you out of there. You okay, partner? You look like you could use it. No, I don't think we're okay. We got shot in the face. In the fucking face. Main problem. I'm terrible with names and have not thought of one. I've thought about one. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? All right, who are we? I am terrible with names, so I don't know if... Anything I can come up with will work. That's true, that seems fine. You know, I'm not a Maxwell, but... <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Okay. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. 
Alright, let's see. Who I'm are we? Oh, we're a dude. Well, yeah. Uh, customize, shape, general. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Forehead. Where's my Dark Souls-esque uh, shit here? Let's see. Flat to pointed? No, that'll work. Did I miss some shit in the others? I might have. So I make sure not missing anything there. Okay, mouth. Cheeks. Okay. Jaw. You have a jutting jawline. See, da -da. okay, and then the chin. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, so what we did shape, so tone. Let's see. Ah! No, we're not a blue man. Eye sockets, yeah. Browns, yeah. I don't really have a beard right now. Hazel. Looks good. Let's start from the top here. No. Let's see. I don't know if this will matter much due to what we're going to be wearing. But, let's see. No. No. Uh-uh.
When's the last time you saw a cowboy with a pompadour? Or comb over? Or that kind of fucking haircut. Uh, I'm guessing this might be really the best bet right now. Isn't it the default one? Hair color, okay. Chestnut? Does that seem good? Let's see. No? Mm. Nah. The gentleman? Mutton stash? Nah. No. No. Nope. Hmm. Man's man. <laughs> Ladies man. Tough guy. Some I won't be able to pronounce correctly. Cavalry. Daddy O. No. Roughneck. Thin strip. Nope. 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 No. No. Hmm. Maybe. Mephistopheles so far is the one that seems to work for us. That's not too bad either. So between this and that. It's the same, but it just goes down a little bit. That works. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the You know, after thinking about it, I am not going to attempt to take it slow now. Uh, it ain't a race. I am not going to attempt to accent this because it's just gonna get awful real quick so far <clears throat> go ahead and give the vigor tester a try we'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties all right let's see melee unarmed inventory weight same as weapon effectiveness perception I definitely want one in here endurance Yeah, that would be beneficial, I think. Charisma. Knucklehead. And we're a cowboy, not a fucking, you know, whatever. So you got three more points. Yes, put one more in endurance. I think we'll put one in strength. So six six seven six four six five. Wait. Any mishaps? 
I'm gonna go... Eh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in the bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right, let's, uh, let's see. All <clears throat> right. Dog. Dog, let's see. Well, uh... No, not a cat, but I don't like cats. No. A train. House. House. Shelter. Night. Campfire. Enemy. Crush. Light. Torch. Mother. Human shield. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got... First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Disagree. I ain't given to relying on others. But... Agree. I'm always fixing... Strongly disagree. I'm sl... No opinion. I charge in to deal... Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you... Hmm. Angry two-headed okay. ant. Okay. How about this one? Ship at sea. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I'm gonna use, we're gonna be guns, melee, and survival mostly. I will be increasing uh, some of the other stuff, but those are the ones we're gonna be mainly worried about. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing. I really hope all the settings I set for the other stuff were fill out so I fill works between saves. History. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yeah, that's nice and all, but no. No. Nope. No. Good Nate now. No. No. Yeah. That's nice. I'm going to say no. Skilled. I do like this one. Like that's that that right there. That is like nothing. And of course, of course, we have to go with Wild Wasteland. I mean, come on. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. Oh, we're naked. All right, let me take a look at this. Oh no. No, none of it's saved. It sucks. It doesn't save between profiles. It's awful. All right, I'm sorry. This might take a little bit of a while. Uh, hardcore needs. Put those a little farther. Uh, there. Let's see, general. Uh, 
always on. Always on. Always on. Always on. Uh, keep those always on. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry, this could take a while. I really fucking didn't expect this to be an issue. Could do this every one level. Do to make ourselves a god by the end of this? <laughs> it is very tempting to do. <coughs> Damage combat. Uh, I'll take a look at this and see how much health I have at what level one. Oh well, but that's okay, that's fine. Stealth and movement, uh, yes. Vanilla. Rarity. I'll keep this as is, and if there's issues, I will change it. Time scale 30? No fucking way. 6. That way, it's basically. One hour in-game is like 10 minutes real time, which is just better, I think. Okay, extra options, core. Uh, let's, let's turn that off. Color effect, visual effect. Let's keep that like that. Cyberware, okay, equipment, nothing, presets, none, and no, none of that. Turn on or off destruction of high-end weapons from select AWOP NPCs. Weapon mod menu, okay, uh, yes, loot menu. I think all these should be fine as is. Uh, I'm going to take this off. No, I'm going to turn that off. These are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find the next of... Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like. All and right. put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Ah, uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you. Okay. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you. Anyway, you ever get hurt? But try not to get killed anymore. No promises. Yes, we are turning hardcore mode on. And now we have to explore this area. Okay. 170 health. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Probably what we're doing. Damn readers. Fucking. Damn fucking readers. I hope someone with the balls to kick them up the ass finds his note. It's the last thing I'll ever write. Anyway, whichever lucky saw is reading this, a writer game calling themselves the Ritters. The Writers. <laughs> the Writers. Shot me in the stomach of the bastards. I found an old railway tunnel. I scouted it out and, well, fuck me. It led to a pre war military installation. But get this completely untouched. Completely fucking untouched. I kid you not, gotta be some serious salvage and loot in there. I'm talking pre war weapons, medicine, clean water, whatever. There must be some good shit tucked away in that place. Also means the old security systems might be up and running. I'm no fighter, just a scavenger. I figured this knowledge would be valuable, so I tried to sell the info. I chose the wrong people. The entrance is located to the northwest of New Vegas. Go rob the place blind and make your fortune. If you see the writers plant your boot up their backs, see the plant, plant your boot up their backsides. Alex M. Attention, all adventurers! You've been selected, specifically selected by a team of NCR informants to be offered a, a place in the deadliest, most powerful freelance mercenary squad in the NCR, the Deadly Seven. If you prove your worth, enrollment in the group will give you access to cutting-edge weaponry technology. As well as rare luxuries and, of course, a cut of the group's massive funds. To do so, you must first prove your dedication and perseverance in the face of terrible odds and potential death. If you're interested, head to the Bighorn Saloon in Boulder City and read the employment notice. Good luck, adventure. Easter egg hints near deadly parents, a stone's throw away. A place to walk on water. Shelved in a tropical last resort. A poisonous pit of pets. House of a friendly a friendless soldier. Soldier. Extra dirty tent. Under the silvery ground. Imprisoned under a place where hopes soar. Enjoy your stay by the Green Lake. Watch the last film. Uh, I'm not probably not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about this. I mean, come on. Instructions: Over the package at the north entrance of the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalty. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package. Eh. Until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed, contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. Failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus criminal charges, and or pursuit of mercenary reclamation teams. The Highway Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of said reclamation efforts. What did he freaking give me? Uh, okay, I don't care. Need? Okay. Down five. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Blood pack, med X. Yes, give me those. Oh, I will need the doctor's bag, definitely. Cat's paw. I don't know what the hell that is. Cat's paw. Oh, medicine plus ten. Did they change the today? It's today's. Why did they, why did they change the name? That's weird. My belongings. Let's see. Hmm. Note from Victor. Okay, I get it. Put 
weapon count is if you were left and right mouse buttons are reversed. I'm going to do this now. A weapon cannot be selected for modification if your left and right mouse buttons are reversed. As for left handed use, you will need to enable to. No. Okay, first and foremost. Go ahead and have that equipped. Okay, good. That's better. Oh. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Let's take these. What's this worth? Not a whole lot. Implant voice modulator implant. I dream of electric sheep. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Do, 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 do. Let's see, yeah. Coin, old US gold, one ounce. Treasure of the weights. Rumors have it that, a, that strange old coins and bars made of gold and silver have been found by press writers recently. recently. Additionally, they have found rare gemstones. Keep your eyes open for these as you venture forth into the wastes. Okay. Starbox. AWOP emergency starter box, you should load out, you may only choose once. You wanna know why? See that 40 storage device thing there? That's why. And look at that. 675. <laughs> I know it's kind of a dick thing to do, but come on. Hello, Gord Seed, uh Sugar bombs, that's food, so that's good. More food. Dirty water. Rebound. <laughs> you have found a unique gold goblet. This gold goblet has given you the power of accuracy. You have been granted the Lucky Strike perk. Huh. I did not know that was a thing. Sorry, Doc Mitchell, you're letting me have all this stuff, so I'm kind of just going to go ahead and take it. <laughs> Flour can be useful. Post-war toaster. Gecko steak. Grilled mantis. Excellent. Yeast. That could be helpful as well. God, we're looting this poor man's home. For our own devices. Okay, well. The tag perk allows you to put, select a fourth skill to be a tag skill, meaning it immediately grazes by 15 points. Oh, hello, vault -Tec. How's it going? I need to move that death counter up a little bit. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking... Oh, thanks for getting me out of that grave, man. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. 
So it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. That's cool. Never played Titanfall. We know about these men who attack me. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not. Okay. How'd you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15. Anyway, it's a right peaceful. All right, goodbye. Happy trails. Empty mailbox. It is really freaking, it's really fucking cloudy. It's dark. Lad's life. That's a review. That's cool. I'm really contemplating getting a one perk every level. <laughs> Just... Let's see, what's this say? Edge comb repair. Turn that off. Dean Stanton. Welcome to Edgecomb Repair. I'm Dean. I do most of the repair work. And... Okay. Oh, good. Repairs to go under. How can... That was never used. That's weird. Right, I gotta go. See you around. Let's take a look in here. Edgecomb Repair. Oh. Skill book. I hear another. I need to turn this radio off. Let's see here. A big book of science. It is not considered a, uh, a book by the standards. I mean, this one over here was said book. It's electronics. Yeah. Let's see here. Ah, oh, bathroom. There's all this stuff, like gears or something. They've got a workbench in here I could potentially use. Dino toy. Move corner. I can take the tire iron. Oh, hey, Paul. Welcome to Edgecom Repair. Need something fixed? You can see Dean. I can do some. Okay. Okay. Let's see what he has about says about his uh let's see. Oh, okay. Alright then. I shall leave this to his paces. Is it dust storm coming? Is that what's going on? Already getting the weather effects? Gang leader. What do you need? Later. Okay. What do you need? Later. Alright then. Paul's dumpster. I wonder if anything ever shows up in there. It's kind of odd that it says that in my there, like the weapon stuff. But 
Xander root. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that looks like a dust storm or something. Let's go inside here. Good Springs Schoolhouse. Should be nice in here, right? Oh. Miss. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, well, it doesn't weigh anything, so. I'll take the egg as well. Salesman Weekly. Excellent. Excellent. Cherry Bomb. What is this stuff? A monster mod. Monster mod. Uh, something debug box. Okay, I should not take any of this stuff. That's like... Yeah, this... Wow. Jesus. I'd be a little... I can't scroll through here. That pisses me off. It seems like a very, very bad idea. Bloody journal page. Okay. Oh, I never read that uh, note we had. Note from Victor. Howdy, partner. I found this here duffel bag buried next to you. I, su I assume these all belong to you. Alright. The ceramic implant you found came with a booklet in its case, the Nevada Group. Well, at first, research and development of cybernetic implants was conducted exclusively from our military. Several big companies were prepared to go to the next step towards general commercialization. However, despite the fact that the technology itself was solid and more or less safe, multiple studies concluded that the public was not yet ready to accept these products. And no single company alone could change this fact. Other problems associated with the commercialization of cybernetic implants. To address these issues, the Nevada Group was founded. Its members believed that they, by pooling their influence and resources, they could turn the public opinion in their favor, and even after they had accomplished this goal, the group persisted to deal with various other problems which that manifested when the first implants hit the market. Uh, was it in the little box that you meant that I was looking at? More info about the general history of the Nevada group. These conversions are blah, 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 blah. Well, wow, this is a long statement. Uh, it's some monster mod, like, balancing thing. In the uh, mod list, it's uh, listed directly below monster mod. I don't remember its full name exactly. It's okay. Bloody journal page. William sounds all official. Don't it? Haha, <laughs> well, everybody just calls me Billy. Been trying for what seems like months, but really... But it's really only been a few weeks since I left Shady Sands for New Vegas. I decided to start this general just in case anything happens to me. Maybe somehow, word can get back to my wife and the boys. I am an out-of-work carpenter, since since there is no work in Shady Sands, I decided to travel to New Vegas in the hope of finding my city work. By a means... And a means by which I can provide for my family. Karen said I was insane to try to make the trip, and she's probably right. But luckily, I managed to hook up with some merchant caravan heading east. So at least I'm not footing it alone. I figured only a couple of days from in that NCR outpost the merchant was talking about. Good Springs, day five or so. This is a long, long entry. Not sure of the date, but been here in Good Springs a few days now. I've been sleeping in an old abandoned camper on an old rotten mattress. Geckos are everywhere around here, most likely because of the fresh water source in the area. Haven't found work, but uh, but there's food and water, and I'm so I'm surviving, living off the land. Never thought I'd be much of a survivalist, 
but a couple of folks have taught me a thing or two along the way. Good Springs, Day 7. Been here a week and finally found s some work from Paul Edgecombe, a retired trader. He said he was away for a few days and just got back home. He offered to trade me a roof over my head for some easy work fixing up that old school right down my alley. So I can bunk up there, bunk up in there in exchange for working in the on the improvements. Look it up. Day 10. Got a little change in my puck, finally. I've done a few odd jobs for Paul while his partner, Dean, has been away prospecting for anything of value. They find old stuff, fix it up, and sell it for a nice little profit. Who knows, maybe Dean can teach me the ropes. Tomorrow I'm gonna ta going to town to see what I can find. Maybe somebody will be hi hiring f for some full-time work. Day 11. I'm not going to make it. Barely right. So much poison. Fingers cramping. Oh, God. Cazadors. North Road. Got me good. Dying, I think. Fading fast. What was that? Something green in here? Oh, no. Can't move. Can't feel my legs. Legs. What was that? Oh, Karen. Boys. So sorry. Wow. I guess he was sleeping right there. Programmer's Digest. Well, all right. Bottle cap. Lad's life. How dare you? How dare you, nymph? Share a bomb. Bottle caps always good. Bobby pin. Bobby pin. Spell glove useless. Useless. I don't have a use for that right now. Scrap electronics. From another programmer's digest. You know, if you shoot this, a bunch of little ones come out. Uh, for like uh, Skyrim 2011 or whenever it first came out and uh, Fallout New Vegas, yes it is. Only did the newer versions like the spe Skyrim Special Edition and Fallout 4 disable uh, getting achievements when you have mods installed. So, uh, you should be good to go if you have mods and plan to use them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll work fine. You'll get them. Let's use... Let's open this up. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science goes high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. You have four tries to... Well... Uh, I actually... Oh, I do have four tries. Okay. Let's see. Survive. Two. No. No. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Gotta look for... There. Give me a reset. Give me a reset. I assume you just uh, got an achievement and uh, we're kind of confused. <laughs> uh, give me a reset. Yes. There we go. Disengage lock. Open safe. Stealth boy. Oh, the man surgery standard edition. Let's take all. While not useful in your hands with this highly educational, particularly rare book, every decent doctor should be able to learn the art of cybernetic surgery. Excellent. Oh boy. Uh, 
Uh, maybe we should wait inside for this to pass. Let's wait two hours. Ah, fuck. Jeez, they're already attacking me? Oh my god. Okay, I thought I turned... Damn it, I thought I turned that. Uh, rebalance. Stealth. Wait, no. Snake profile. Vanilla. Where was that normal thing? Sneak indicator. Wait. Options. Where was that? That was other mods. General. Shit. Which one was that? Features. No visor overlays. Settings. Balance character. Damage in combat. Stealth and movement. This won't be in the rear area. Miscellaneous. That is an issue. That I should be getting that indicator, but I'm not seeing it. It was working before. Settings. Damn it. This is actually very annoying. I don't know which things. Yeah, that's what I wanted there. This is it. Right there. That's the one I need. There we go. Wait three hours. Okay, this might be a little bit nuts right now.
Okay. Oh, thank God that killed him. Oh, my God. Let's see what he has. Firebomb. I can sell some of that. The spear. Mad Mike Claw. Oh my god. I was not expecting to get ambushed so early. Oh my god! <laughs> well. Um. J-Bob. I was not expecting to get ambushed so soon. Is this done yet? How long is this gonna last? I'm not sure this is like a safe space I can or safe place I can store stuff. Like temporarily store stuff. Unique NES Super Mario Brothers 2 game. A great game to add to the collection. Okay. Turn the radio off. Just in case. Take all that. What's this? Pipe rifle. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a drink real quick. That's good. people. Excellent. Definitely gonna need that. I think these dust storms are supposed to slowly drain your health. Well, I picked up some stuff that I'm never gonna use. Maybe I should ask, see Doc Mitchell, see if he has anything I can buy from him. All the doctor's bags and stuff. Big spoon. Purified water will be very nice. Your radio. Then turn you off. Springs home safe key.
Was I just trespassing without realizing it? Let's see, here's another house here. Getting hit by those guys really freaking early was just nuts. Also, the weapons I got from them were as overpowered for my current level. Something such for a star bottle cap. Single shotgun. Chinese spec off, so I don't need to take that read just yet. Hello. What do you need? Wasteland hero. Well, it's a good thing that the uh, storm went past. All right, let's see. Sensor module, scrap metal. Keep all those there. Oh, you know what? I did die once. Drop that de death counter. By one. I forgot about that. Give me that. Alright, what's in here? Buff out. NES Super Mario Brothers 3 game. Sense of search for the cans. All right. Let's see if that one guy has anything to say since we found this note. The guy that's in here, of course. Yeah. Damn me, he's been giving me a fit. Uh, did you know Billy Wharton? I found a note I think he wrote in that old school. Damn, how could we have missed that? Well, it was dark in there, and I guess that could have looked like another piece of trash. We found him dead in there a couple of nights ago, and we've been trying to figure out what the hell happened to him since. Wow, really? Can I see that? Yeah, yeah, Doc said that's what he thought it was. Looks like he was right. Must have been trying to get to New Vegas up the North Road. I told him nothing but death that way. God damn it, I told him. I freaking tell everybody. Don't take the North Road out of here unless you're committing suicide, damn it. Hey, right. thanks for coming to see me. He seemed a good man for what time I knew him, and it helps a little knowing for sure what happened to him. That old bone orchard's filling up too quick lately. Guess not everybody as lucky as you are having nine lives and all. Yeah, he showed up and was begging for some work. Trying to get his family out here from back west, he said. Seemed nice enough, so I was giving the young man a hand up and a chance to show me his work ethic. Maybe I'd hire him for some more steady work if he was a go-getter, you know? Yeah. We'd agreed to start <coughs> fixing up the place and make it livable. I was going to let him bunk up inside the old place and work for me whenever I had other jobs for him. I thought it was a good deal. Make money from me when I had jobs and get a free place to stay while working with me. 
I can clean up some dirt if you let me bunk in there. What do you say? Right now, there ain't nothing in there but a lot of junk and a dead man's mattress. You sure you're ready for this? It's gonna be a Well, I guess you can start by cleaning up the place and hauling off all the rubble, desks, and chairs. Throw them away with anything else you can pick up and keep what you want, of course. That'll give you a better look at that nasty floor. There should be a mop, some mop water, or a Braxo cleaner and detergent in there you can use to scrub the floor. Hopefully it's in decent shape. Right. After you get it all cleaned up, I need you to pick up that old broken terminal and bring it to me. Oh, yeah, something else we need. There's some wooden slats in there we need about 15 or so of. They're the long, straight pieces, not the little cut-up pieces of scrap wood, okay? Not that you really need it, but I had a note all wrote down for Billy. See you, friend. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. Cleaning instructions. Haul it us and chairs to the computer. Oh, to the dumpster. Cut the wooden slats. So, da 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 da. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> oh, then that's cool. I don't know if that turns into like a uh, a residence or what. I don't know if it has safe storage though, which is a thing right now. Hey, Doc Mitch, we get in here. The damnedest thing! I got fucking ambushed by some assholes. Welcome back. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, I have all this stuff <laughs> that I happen to pick up. Actually, that right there is probably the most fair of everything in here. A knife spear. Jesus Christ. I am so glad I didn't come up with it, come up with that. Pipe rifle, straight razor, straight razor. Uh, oh my God, that's worth a lot too. This, this. Okay, six eighty-five. See if we can't. Fix this up a bit. Those weigh half a pound, huh? Okay, good. We are. Yes, nice. Oh, hold on, let's see. You take care now. <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff's really definitely be helpful. You know what? Oh, wait, I thought I saw some. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to go in there yet. Anybody who has played the game will know why, or potentially know why. Can I get into this house? Yes, I can. Let's see, nothing of note yet. Wow, 
add to life. Sunset Sour Spirilla, start bottle cap. How about that one? That's just a normal bottle cap. Funny homily, I I'm allowed to take those other ones without consequence. The fact that I'm already getting another dust storm bothers me. I do not know how to change the settings. So it did not come with a uh, It didn't come with any way to uh, so what I'm looking for. Change the settings, I guess. Like the MCM, there's nothing for MCM. explosives uh, thing somewhere. There's usually one in one of the mailboxes just laying around. I think I've been in this house, right? Yeah, definitely been in this house. I didn't pick one up, did I? Let's see, aid magazine. Nope, just damn. That sucks. That means I can't get more dynamite. How's it going, sir? I hope you don't mind if I take a look around. I'm gonna turn your radio off. I hope you don't mind. Salesman Weekly. Unique follow to NES game, really. A great game to add to the collection. I'm so glad that isn't stealing. Let's see, uh, mod lists for AG Supplementary Uniques. I wonder why those mod lists exist. Doesn't seem like an issue. Hey. Hey. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of the... I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon... If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. Uh, tell me about weapon mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like... Si special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored... It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Right. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. 
Been there, ever been in New Vegas? Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. <laughs> if you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice: behave. Between the NCR. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal camps. There's a good chance that most... Okay, uh, I'd like to know more about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. The other casinos follow okay. Mr. House's rules. So I guess that make... I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. That's what you got for sale. I can do that now. Uh, let's see. Doctor's bag. Yes. Only a salesman weekly, huh? That kind of sucks. Let's see. Oh. You have coins too, huh? Three fifty seven Magnum. Give me those, give me these. Uh put on apparel? Not much. Okay. What can I sell you? Cigarettes. Oh good, cherry bombs don't weigh anything. Perfect. Those don't weigh anything either. Don't know what those are used for. Those... Be using those at all. Give you got a lot of caps, though. Else. Actually, can do. He's got so many caps. Where the hell am I not just gonna? Not the unique stuff, of course, but no. Oh. Nothing that's not unique. Okay. Goodbye. Easy pizza con. All right, well, let's take a look in here. It is pointing us over here, so. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay. Uh. I'm sure Not caps. in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want really? to take a shot at it. I actually already cracked the oh. safe. Well, what do you do around here? I have geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I, I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so. Hmm. Sure can. 
Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town. All right. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. Off okay. the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick. Okay. Here's sure. Let's see. Where are there towns nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it, since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCRs. Okay. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't really? head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters. What kind of critters are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous and large. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear. NCR? The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them. So, I tend to look. Not that I got a ch Yeah. But does it keep, does it keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife, for one thing. Roddy local. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. Uh. They've been holding off this other group from the east. We know about this other group. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real... But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cook. Okay, okay. I, that jukebox is on in the background, which is really an issue. Okay, uh... I need to turn this off. Good. Hello. Greetings. Who are you? Who I am isn't relevant to you. Could you assist me though? You could assist me though, couldn't you? What do you need? Oh, well, the one thing I need from you is for you to die. Your supplies are the most useful in the next Goodbye. Oh. Whoa, over here. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Come on. Jesus, why am I being attacked so many times early on? No, no. Come on, fire. Well. these again. Okay. What do you run here? Da, 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 da. Bye. This. Hello. Easy feet. Howdy. You think anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man... Why do you call it Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now... You're a prospector like digging for gold and silver? Nah, <coughs> nah. Means I poke... Ah. Uh. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. You ever find anything worth anything good? Nope. 
Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NC. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't. Uh -huh. Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round. Okay. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river. What's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water. What do you use the big horns for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put them. Okay. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful of them. Do you think about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what. Goodbye. What's this? Trudy's Gold Bar. Easy Pete's Survival Bunker. You can't take Trudy's Gold Bar. Your interest in it stirs some discussion among the saloon's patrons. You hear that Easy Pete gave Trudy the bar to cover any, every, anything he might need from the saloon. He found it in an old pre war survival bunker that has been since been stripped clean. It is located next to the water tower in Novak. Unique banjo. You find a unique having a banjo will increase your good karma. You've been awarded the banjo man perk. All right then. Nope, not what I wanted. Uh, be. Nope. Oh well. Hello. Let's see if I can't get away with this. Hey, I'm not a part of this. <laughs> Dang it, people, you're supposed to help me out. Okay. Greetings. Who are you? Uh, uh, what do you need? Well, the one thing I need is to die, your place. Okay. Alright, let's get the hell. Nope, stop being in that thing. Okay. Can't walk backwards. Why is that? Oh my God. Had enough. Look at him go. Whoa. Come on. Okay.
All right, you're almost dead. Oh my god, that sucked. A note from your superior. Access hatch key. I can wear that. And I am not doing so hot today. <laughs> okay. Easy feet survival bunker. You heard that Easy Poop gave tribute gold bar to cover blah 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 blah. Next to the water tower and go back. A note from your superior. Johan, I would like you to reside by the New Vegas Saloon and attempt to lead people under the guise of helping you and kill them. We need you to gather the supplies so you can undertake the journey to the building by the highway. We've bribed the locals so that you can kill without worry of being attacked by them. In case you've forgotten, here are the coordinates for, you, for the building you are to go to. 6,500 caps for a board for successful completion of the contract. Don't fail me. S. Boulevard. Son of a bitch. Thing in here. Let's see. That's he has some weekly meeting people. Nothing about explosives, unfortunately. Pneumatic fist. Now hiring. Randall and associates. Is something bounty hunter judge pursue hiring bounties on behalf of various clients, utilizing any and all means to apprehend or terminate terminate contracted targets. If you have experience with firearms, explosives, or energy weapons, which you organize and self-sufficient. Interpersonal mobility is helpful, but not essential. Unarmed and me or melee skills, a plus. More flexibility preferred. Pay slash benefits. Work at your own pace, on your own schedule. An initial contract is 125 caps. Proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. Potential rewards include a custom revolver and duster. Ooh, that's nice. To apply, see Randall and Steve Randall at the Associates of Randall and Associates. Disclaimer, Randall and Associates is not responsible for injuries and or death incurred while pursuing said contracts. Randall and Associates is an equal opportunity employer. All right. Hey. Hi there. Sticking around. Yeah, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Meet me outside. Bye. Well, all right. Well, I thought you had it, uh, she had a freaking plasma rifle. I was like, where the hell did you get that? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. No, I'm not using that. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos. All right, I'm in. Follow me. Come on, Sonny, one faster. If things get too hot, I might actually have to get the companion that's sitting over there. He's a bit overpowered 
for the beginning of the game. But if I'm going to be attacked constantly by those people, it might not be a bad idea to have him with me. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like... Let's see if we can get a little closer. We... Alright. Hint that... Uh, sneak attacks are a thing. Let's see. Gecko. Gecko. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. I'm taking you down. I'm going to loot these corpses. Take out eggs. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this is good water. Okay. There's two more wells that still need clearing. All right, let's go. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Come with me. This little saw a small problem. Nope, stop it. Stop reloading and pull out. The right weapon. Jesus. Okie dokie. I gotta go all the way back here to go up there. Okay, fine. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Give me that gecko eight and gecko hide. What is this? You discard solar location, you can fast travel. Blah, blah, blah. What is this place, though? So many times cigarettes HQ. I don't think we're ready for that. What is that over there? Corpse of something. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little... One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. Couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. 
I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being. Bring those on back to me. And... <laughs> I'm just gonna get that up to there real quick. Okay. And that there too, because we're gonna need those. And then I will need to get my melee up. Cannon man. Music and pistol, your accuracy in vast is now increased. That doesn't make sense. Cowards be damned. Okay. In comedy, you have 70% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. That would be nice to have for later. That is a terrible perk. Rapid reload. Definitely. I don't know what it is I see. Abandoned suitcase. Battle rifle. Well, that's stuff I can sell. Did I just accidentally dupe those? No. Okay, good. I had me worried for a second. Ah! Those are like phasing in and out. What is this over here? I saw something like that looks like a corpse. Yes, I know how to enter fast damage. Travel onward. Oh, great! Chewed note. Doc, I'm trapped. I'm setting you this note, and if Sparky makes it, you should be able to come and save me. Feral creepers are surrounding me. What the hell he's returning to, but uh, whatever. Turn that off just in case. are become gods. <laughs> this should be fun. Hey. Well, take that. Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh... Well, should we just know at the gas station. There's some mean roll rats, roll rats down there, but not much else. Like more and more up. And also, just to the southeast is the Gene Skydiving Bunker. It's taken over by a game of power gangers, so vicious that even the other gangers avoid them. It's a real shame. I hear the family that used to live there was very popular around Good Springs. Any more locations nearby? Some guy came crawling out of a vault near here. I don't know his exact location. See the Sergeant Arcus in Good Springs if you want to know more. He was staying with her briefly, but he left when it worked. 
What's your story? My name is Robin Stranger. I spend my days watching over this road for raiders and mutants. I used to do it for free, but now Frankie pays me a good wage. The rest of the bucket can keep a bit can be a bit unreliable. For I was drifter, I've been as close as home on Earth. That's fine, I got used to it. It's just too much time in the waste, I guess. Okay. Move along. Protect and serve. Frankie's guns and ammo. Oh well then, that's some nice stuff in here. Hatchet. Oh, bodyguard. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a good amount of stuff in here. Caravan, shark gun, mark two. Uh, I don't think that'll help us. That will. Like, eventually. What do you need? See ya. Frankie. Hello, Wake it. Welcome to Frankie's Guns and Ammo. Who are you? My name is Frankie and I run this here gun shop. Now, what can I do for you? Do you know if there are any available houses around here? As a matter of fact, I do, but I gotta tell you, I ain't going cheap. The place is most suited for functioning pre war tech. I promised the owner I wouldn't let it go for less than 5,000 caps. Do you have any job? Well, there are a few things that I straight to mind. I'll tell you. I have a kid that leads to a place called the Underground. I used to live there for a while anyways. It used to be a great place. Not a damn hellhole, but chances are it's full of still full of loot. Personally, I never felt the need to go back in there. Those creatures in there are meaner than anything I've seen out here. If you can deal with a few local problems, then the key is yours. You won't find another entrance south of Body Springs. But what do I have to do? Well, like I said, the Underground is a very dangerous place. If you want the key, you're going to have to prove it to me. You can stop it at the other side down there. Go on. Okay, I'm like so we have uh, breaking havoc with the locals. Sorry about the few can there should be enough kick kill them and report back to me once the job is done. Okay, I'm game. I'll upload the location to your pit boy. Let's see what you got in stock. These guys look good amount of caps too. Just give me something that I can use for... Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, you got a lot of mods. So I have to sell to him. That, that, that. Those aren't within our specs. Where is that? And that's kind of close. And this is a fun weapon, from what I understand, that it's supposed to be. That is worth a lot, though. Wow, okay, uh... Uh, how close am I to this thing? Go and get the. There we go. How close can I get to his limit? Let just put it in there. Okay. I want to put some of this ammo in there.
All right, that's good. All right, thanks. Got to go. How did I open this door? Oh, never mind. Not gonna happen. Oh, I can't uh, disable that. Let's see, Red Raider. Uh, I can sell the Molotov cocktail. Oh, what's this? Turquoise nugget. This, this storm uh, frequency is way too high. There's something wrong with that. I need to figure... I need to see if I can't figure out how to either access a... Just something so that I can change the settings. Uh, we can still sort of see, so... I need to check for... I need to find... Right. Frankie's home. Alright, well, I mean, it's not going in there illegally if I were to lockpick it. Oh, there is this. Okay. I get it. All right, uh, I'll just take all that. Long fuse dynamite, thank you. Give me those. Crate, what's in the crate? There we go. Weapon repair kit, I will take it. Future weapons today. You don't want to go north because that's where the Cazadors are. Couldn't even give me any freaking ammo. You suck. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could wear both of those. What? Um, what? This is new. Is that one over there, freaking mosquito? It is. Oh, no, 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 nope, nope, nope. 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 No. Gross. Fucking gross. Cave, cave mutant blood. Well, that's worth a lot. Need a shovel, huh? I 
I'll leave that alone. What's this? Snow globe good springs. You found limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These are rare pre-war artifacts. Are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Well, ain't that nice. Rock flower. Huh. Where are the cigarette butts? They're supposed to be up here too. Oh, good. There they are. They blend in so well. Those are like impossible to freaking see there. Alright, we guess we'll go back and, uh... Kill Firetooth, kill Labal, kill Smokey, hunt down and kill the three giant geckos. <laughs> Find the mysterious man waiting here, right? No associates. Okay. Good Spring Sewer. Gene okay, Sloan. Gene Skydiving. Randall. Why can't I fast travel there? That's not right. Rural Home. Hypatia. Bob's Bunker. Dry Wells. Nevada Security Solutions Office. Wellington Civil Law Group, Fiend Hideout. Why can I fast travel to those places? That is not good. I should probably fast travel there to make this faster. Eh, oh well. I was done with this session. I think we'll complete this part and then call it a night. Definitely need to move my death counter higher. I don't want to come over here. Where the hell am I going? In dangerous territory there.
Ripper Gecko. Where the hell did that come from? Okay. Hey. Let me see what you got. All right now, we're gonna be making something, folks, on the trip. Okay. Go on over to that camp. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's yelling way too loud. Gecko steak. Okay, I'll go ahead and make this. All right. Hey, that's not bad. See, all it takes to make. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your... Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. Well, I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. I turned it off. Never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she'd be cross with me if I didn't... Okay. However well, I'm still here. Gecko steak. Cooked. I like how it just, it's cooked. Okay, H2, it makes me a little bit thirsty, but it takes away a lot of, uh, a lot of food there, so. What all can I make? Let's see, anti-venom. Okay. Battle brew. Of course, salient green, that's great. Why would coffee make your agility go down? I would almost expect it to go up. If anything. Bloat fly slider. Ugh, that sounds awful. Blood shield. Wow, that's pretty cool. Brahmin steak. Well, I like that gives okay oh cloned stuff yeah of course selling it green Dog steak. Take up back to leather armor. Zero DR? That seems so... Or DT? That seems awful. Yeah, that might not be correct. Gold delivery bar to 12 rough gold bars. Okay. Home brewed Nuka Cola. Party time, Mentats. Silver delivery bar to uh, silver string, or silver sting, rather. Smelt gold nuggets to bar. Smelt silver nuggets to bar. Okay. Cure animal poison. Automatic use. Poison resistance plus 85. Ugh. I can make those too.
I'm gonna go to the workbench, see if I can't make like a... A settings thing for Nevada Skies. There was a workbench in the... Did I explore this? It, that's, is this Frankie's guns and ammo? Yes, okay. Great. What's stalking me now? Oh. Okay. These I can deal with. This isn't an issue. Not one bit. I had me worried for a second there. Like, seriously. I'm gonna borrow your workstation, dude. I could totally take that now, and no one would know. Toxic darts. Huh. Arm X minigun. What? Armor repair kit. Armor check stim. Dynamite charge. That is some we would use. I don't know what the hell... What, why is this even a thing? Why are these even a thing? Let's see here. Combat knife, silicone grip. Combat knife, tempered blade. Like for melee, we can use combat knives and probably just normal, like, kitchen, like, then a regular knife. And also a hatchet. Or, like, a. Similar axe to that. I guess a shovel isn't out of the question.
whiskey barrel to whiskey. Okay. That's a little, uh, insane. Okay, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna find Trudy and, uh, go do that and then we'll call it a night. It feels great to be back in New Vegas. It really does. I have never modded New Vegas. It's just, just so, so great. We're heavily modded. We're doing a, a sort of a challenge run. Cowboy, uh, skill uh, thing we've never, I've never done before. It's gonna be a good time, I think. Hey there. Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Oh, hello, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I'm trying to track down people who tagged me. You know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it's not going to say where they were going. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's... Truth be told, out. they're full of critters that are be just mad know. just by you being there. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. How are your argument? What's this Looks all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Funny how you just told me that without me, you know, without knowing who I am and all that stuff. Why well, just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of... Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. You don't say. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Let's talk about something else. I don't know if I help Ringo. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Goodspur. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. If I help Ringo and Good Springs with like me more, what if I help the Power Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their. Who are that many you're arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder Gangers is what. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it <laughs> took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Let's talk about someone now. Uh... 
Those good friends get many visitors. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything interesting in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on, but the biggest news has to be the... Tell me about the NCR. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me... Okay, tell me about the Legion. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see How them. do you know what a Roman soldier the is? is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on. Pressing your face with the, uh, luck that the Legion has an overrun with the arrow. Territory. Okay. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the day. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the... I'm, I'm sure I've got something you like. Oh, for a second I thought it was going to crash on us. I think it was close. No, oh, well, I already seen everything you have. Purified water. That interests me. Interests me. Whiskey. We got a couple of things of whiskey. We're fine on that, I believe. Throw that moss of cocktail your way. 472. Bounty Hunter Duster. Ah, uh, okay. AP plus five. I don't think we'll use rebound. Ever. Crab. That's fresh. It's cooked. Cooked. Very nice. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, why is it now? Painted. I don't want that. Okay, so I guess now that lowers how much H, how much water, my water issues. I think last time it uh, just increased it. So I'm just changed it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Thanks. All right, goodbye. Be careful out there. And that'll be it for the night. And it's 4 p.m. in game. Thank you all so much for joining me. Next time, we will continue on that quest, this quest. And maybe clear out the schoolhouse a little bit and see where that leads, leads us. Tomorrow I will not be streaming. Uh, I have some stuff to take care of again. And it might happen next week too because we're, uh, I might be needed at work for a couple 12 hour, a 12 hour shift. And I don't know when that's going to be exactly. So that'll be real fun. Wednesday, uh, don't have anything planned. I might, I don't know yet. I don't know about Wednesday. Thursday. Hey. Thursday I will be doing Fallout 4. And continuing that run, our melee run, with a bunch of mods. That's just a normal normal modded run, but with melee and crossbows. And things that go boom. Alright, well, good night everyone. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.